Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and you may remember this. This was the MakerBot model coin sorter that I did a video on not too long ago. And that video was interesting for a number of reasons. One, it was a quick little throwaway video I did about a model, but for some reason, it found itself on the YouTube homepage. And that means it racked up a number of views. In fact, currently, it's sitting at over 700,000 views. That was fun. Why did it land on the homepage? I really have no idea. I even spoke to my YouTube rep. She has no idea either. The only thing I can assume is there were two reasons and they were in the comments. So first reason people thought it said coin snorter. Yeah, I didn't make a coin snorter video. That would hurt. Two, people said I look and sound like Markiplier. Once upon a time, in an old English country of Scottsdale, Arizona, well, that might be true, but I don't yell at fish. In that video, we found out that this model wasn't exactly working well. People commented that I should put the coin sleeves in the slots. Maybe that would help. Maybe not. I don't know. I just, I don't care. But there's this new one now. So as it goes, uh, Dustin the Jatman saw my video and he ended up printing version one of this coin snorter. Snorter, oh my gosh, see, I can't stop saying it. And he did a video on it, and the designer, Eugene Pentland, he saw that and he ended up taking Dustin's criticisms and, and changing it a bit. So now we have this coin sorter, and this was printed in filamentum Rapunzel Silver on the Joseph Prusa i3 Mark II. It's a dial that sits on top of this stand, but first, all of these little tubes hold the coins. So we've got dimes and pennies and nickels and quarters. There we go. There we go. There we go. The dial goes on top like this, and then this slotted piece goes on top like this. And then as the coins are fed here and you turn the wheel, it drags the coins across the top and the right coins fall into the right slots. So let's give it a test. Here's a quarter, here's a penny, here's a nickel, and here's a dime. And I'm gonna put those in the top and we have four coins that should fall into four different uh, tubes. Let's see, there we go. All right, I heard four coins fall. Let's get this out. In the dimes, there is one. In the pennies, there is one. There's one nickel. And there's the quarter. So this actually worked pretty darn well as far as a coin sorter goes. It does have a little bit of an issue where the dial up top turning has the edges that drag the coins kind of hit on these sharp corners that hold the, uh, the tubes in place. But, um, other than that, it seems to be working pretty darn well. Eugene, good job. This is decent. Let's throw some more coins in. Let's do. Here we go. And that's it. So to make sure this test is a success, this should only contain quarters, this should only contain nickels, this should only contain pennies, this should only contain dimes. There we go, it's a success. Well, this was really interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I didn't know coin sorters were an interesting topic for people. This one seems to work fairly well. I would recommend you give it a print. It was a really easy four, four, five hour print on the Prusa machine. I printed it at 0.2 millimeter layers. I printed at 60 millimeters a second. It was 215C on the nozzle. It was 65 on the bed. And it just, I hit print, walked away, came back the next morning. And there it was. Well, with that in mind, don't forget uh, Dustin's video, The Jatman, he's, he's got a link down in the description. So does Eugene, he's got a link down in the description as well. I highly suggest you check out those two videos. I'll put the link to this model 
on Thingiverse, and you can download it and give it a try yourself. Thanks again for watching. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. I really appreciate it. A big thanks to all my new subscribers to the channel. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.